gift of love. It's just so healing to be with someone so loving. Um, I'm wondering if you have any suggestions when I return home um, on how I can begin to change um, around my engaging life with a belief of lack that is so deep within me. The major issue for, for yourself, our sister, is terrible fear of, of being attacked and you live in this state of lack almost as a way to appease the people around you. The very, at times there are dark spirits around you who wish to, to keep you in this very small place and, and it is almost as if you wish to remain in a state of lack simply to appease any other possible attack that might come your way. So we would encourage you to look at your fears surrounding abusers, abusers on earth and in the spirit world. And we know that you are accustomed or you are, you are acquainted with the fact that this, is, that this is an issue for you. But at the moment you are still um, spending much of your will or expending much of your will in appeasing abusers rather than feeling their abuse and beginning to challenge it emotionally. And by that we mean to say, that's not okay emotionally. So if we can, um, we wish to really stress this point that much of your energy is still going into appeasing or making, treating yourself badly, making yourself small, not accepting, receiving anything good for yourself because you very much fear what the spirits around you will do if you do something different. And the issue of lack in your life is very much related to this same issue. So if you are able to go home and begin to feel about being abused rather than trying to placate or please abusers, uh, to keep them, it is almost as if you want to just keep them at bay so you could just have a tiny piece of space just for yourself. It's, it's almost as if you're saying, I'm not asking for much, just please can I have this one little corner and please leave me alone. Um, it, is this, it is this feeling inside of you that perpetuates the lack. And in fact, God does not want to, live, to have you live in this tiny little corner. Um, you were made to... To, um, uh, to cover the world and to have a great, wonderful life both here on earth and in the spirit world. And you have spent much of your life keeping yourself quite small out of this fear. If you are able to challenge this fear, your issues of lack will change, but also you will have much more joy. Thank you. And um, can I just make a general comment about abusers and being abused um, when we have been abused in our childhood or even violently abused or even been condescended to in our childhood there's a high likelihood that we have all these belief systems inside of ourselves that will continue to attract abuse for the rest of our lives and the main reason why we attract the abuse is not for any other reason than that we're terrified of confronting the abuser. Does that make sense? And from a spiritual level, in particular, Madi, that's what's happening for yourself. There's a deep terror of confronting the spirit-based abusers of, your, of, of you. But also, if you look at it physically, you're always attracting people who abuse you. Even people who don't normally abuse other people abuse you, which is an indication that the whole is so large that... that even though, and I'm not suggesting that they that it's your fault they're abusing you. I'm suggesting they feel that you will accept abuse very easily, and as a result, because they don't have any personal ethics, they start to abuse you. And this is what actually happened on the forum, like on the the local Facebook forum that you've been involved with. It, everyone's getting drawn into it, and then the spirits that are with you frequently find it so easy to abuse you, right? Because of because of this openness to the views, um, they can easily then influence these other people to say things they possibly even wouldn't normally say, right? 
And so this causes a lot of uh, distress in you. And so what you, as, as Rachel was saying, you're, you're trying to now withdraw to just a little tiny corner of, a, of the world, like you're sitting in the tiny corner of the room saying, just give me this amount of space, but leave me alone, right? When actually God created your soul to take up the whole space of your whole house, you know, like that's the, that's the contrast, if you like, that you need to picture in your mind. And, and the only reason why you're withdrawing to a little corner in a little room is because you're getting attacked all the time and you don't want to feel the grief associated with this attack. And, and this is the case with most of us when we get attacked we don't want to face the grief of being attacked and so what we do is we withdraw we, we detune from our desires we detune from our passions we even detune from ourselves in order to avoid this attack but all we're doing is falling into the trap of these darker people who want us to feel smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller so that they can feel bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So every little bit of energy you give out make, making yourself smaller, they take to make themselves bigger. And this is the emotional hole that's going to close up. And it's not going to close up by you saying, don't do that to me anymore. It's going to close up by you feeling the grief associated with the attack and the fear and terror, uh, literal terror that you have about attack. Does make sense? Yeah. And uh, because I am by myself a lot and these spirits are doing that, I'll just start to tune in. Like, I'll be, it'll become clearer to me what they're doing and saying to me. I feel it's already clear what they're doing. You just don't want to believe it. There's a feeling in you that you'd like to believe that everyone's really got a good heart at the end of the day. You know, and that's not true, unfortunately. While everybody has, at some point, the ability to go back to their pure soul, it doesn't mean right at this moment that they've got a good heart and they're trying to work in your best interest. The reality is there are many billions of people on earth and in the spirit world who don't have anybody else's best interest at heart. And in fact, all they want to do is ta attack and abuse other people. And, and your fear allows them to continue doing it. Your terror the unwillingness to experience terror and the unwillingness to experience the grief about being attacked for no reason. You've always tried to blame yourself and made out and sort of make out that you're the problem, but you're not the problem. You're not the reason they attack you. They have attacked you and then you've made yourself smaller and smaller and smaller and that encourages their attack. But that's not, that's not the reason why they attack you at the beginning. They attack you at the beginning because they're basically just not very nice people. <laughs> Does that make sense? And it's their problem. And this is something we've got to understand when we're getting attacked. Is that Anybody who attacks you is, is in a terrible condition of love. Right? And, and may I just point out, some of you have been involved in some of these interactions with Motti uh, on the internet and so forth, where you got drawn into attacking her and what I would say to you is, firstly, what inside of yourself caused you to revert to judgment so much? And what inside of yourself caused you to believe that it was okay to attack a person who already was down? It's like, you know, it's like kicking a person who's already on the floor. Does that make sense? And this is what spirits do frequently with us. But, but if we're going to learn how to love, we've got to stop doing that with each other. If a person's already on the floor, you don't kick them a bit more. What you want to do is help them off the floor and help them work their way through why they're so afraid, rather than doing the opposite to that. So, so my suggestion is anyone who has been involved in these attacks of Mahdi, because there's been quite a number of them, um, looks and and there is an openness in you to those attacks this is what i'm suggesting which is about your grief and so forth but there is an openness into the others who attack you to to be easily influenced away from ethical behavior and into attack to make themselves feel better than you or feel like they are better than you or judge you as if they are better than you and so forth and they need to have a look at that those emotions yeah? So I just wanted to make that aside because, uh, um, because I feel what's going on in the attack of you it hasn't been just spirits attacking you. It's also been people who are even in this room who have even reverted to attacking you over the internet 
and and that demonstrates the unloving or, or should we say the unethical position inside of those persons where if they notice somebody is down they think it's a great opportunity to take to make themselves feel better and that, that so I would look at those emotions too if you've been involved in those things yeah thank you yeah.